Hey guys, just wanted to give a bit of a quick update on what I've been doing over the last um, couple of days and the weekend really. Uh, over the weekend I did a video on it, what I did this last weekend, but um, yeah, so I have actually been out in my first truck, proper truck, on the road over here. Um, it was Monday I went out on my first um, trip. I went out with a driver trainer called Graham here. Um, me and one of the uh, lads from Zimbabwe, we went out, we both, both, both got a permit the day after each other, so um, yeah, so we just, he took us out to do a job that they had to do at a company called Five Below, which is just up the road. We um, swapped trailers there and he took us around the driver trainer, just teaching us how to want us to do things, because these do, trucks do handle a lot differently, as you would imagine, compared to the UK. So, I'll put up a picture now of what the truck was that I drove. It was a Kenworth. Um, it was a good truck actually. I did um, enjoy it. It did have the full sleeper on as well. So it's the same size as what we will be driving when we um, get our trucks. Look where we're going to get a Peterbilt Freightliner or Kenworth. Yeah, I think we'll probably end up getting a Kenworth. That seems to be what we've got a lot of uh, truck wise. So um, yeah, you'll see the trailer axles though. There's just two axles, but they're right far back, so the turning circle is going to be a lot shorter but longer in a way you'd say, because they can usually slide the fifth wheels a bit further forward, but on these ones they're fixed on these trailers that we're going to be hauling. So, um, yeah, so we were just getting used to the corner and then that, and then the lad from Zimbabwe drove for about an hour, we ended up at a truck stop on... I'll put a picture, I'll put up on the screen which truck stop it was because I can't remember about it was and I'll find it for you. Um, it was a Loves, it was very busy in there though and that's when I took over the truck after we had 10 minutes. Um, and yeah, it was good driving it, it's very weird getting used to that extra f five, six feet at the front for the ball nose. But once you sort of get used to that, plus sat on the other side of the truck, on the other side of the road as well, um, yeah, it was... A learning experience it was good but i will be going out next tuesday uh to california for the first time with, with my mentor um she's going to take me to um california that's what we're going to be doing we're going to be doing it monday so it is labor day monday coming up when i'm hopefully going to go and get my car so you can stay tuned for that video coming out fairly soon um i've just done a quick video of updating the sat nav as well um over here as well so that'll be another video that'll be coming out but yeah so it's usually going to schedule for me to usually go away is going to be monday wednesday friday for um at the minute until i can get my obviously my license and then we can do um do more from there but still waiting back on an answer regarding filming in the truck if they do allow it I've given them a few options on how I can sort of do it. I can do it how the video is that they're going to review. So the video is like in the UK. But see, so yeah, I've got the mic on and I'm talking and that. But I think it's a little bit better if I just have a camera that's just set up facing forward that I can keep on power all the time. I've got remote control. I can just click it. Won't talk on the thing. Just get a few minutes of footage that, and that. Use clips and that. And then I can just do the voiceover over it of where I am and... And what's what and um, yeah and then film more clips when you know like maybe in the dock or something like that and it's a bit slower driving and parked up and that on an evening and things like that so the videos could be a bit different when they do start up again if they do start up again so we're still are waiting for a um, an answer back on that because the lo road laws over here are very very strict on what you can and can't do so they're just double checking it to make sure just make sure that everything is all good but yeah, I really enjoyed it in the truck driving. It was um, good to get out driving again in um, in, in something. I'll, yeah, my confidence will grow over time. I know it will. And as I get my car down here, I can get more used to driving on the other side of the road and, and everything like that, which hopefully again, it will be this weekend, I'm hoping. Just be good to get a car for some freedom to do stuff on a weekend. And even in a week when we've got no to do, like every other day I'm gonna be having off here, so it gives something to do which will be um which will be good but yeah that's just a, a quick update really we've not really 
been in the classrooms today we've been learning more about the um so we've had hr in today we're doing, i'm doing my orientation at the minute so yesterday was just going through all the handbook the driver handbook and company policies and that but today we went through with hr we went through um you know how to do your holidays and stuff that for taxes and things like that so we've all got all our options that we can read and go over and make a decision on that for like health insurance and how we want everything to work we do get a planet fitness membership though you've got to go eight times a month you know, to log in there sort of thing and then the company do pay for that so that's going to be very beneficial for me especially here in the heat because i went to go running this morning at six o'clock this morning and it was 30 degrees celsius so <laughs> It was, yeah, I just went for a walk instead. So yeah, that's going to be good. After um, HR was in, we had the driver managers in, dispatchers, planners, whatever you want to call them. They like to be called driver managers over here. So we went through the um, mobile app that they've got. They've got their own mobile app as this company for um, basically for doing all the PODs. If your truck breaks down and you need a new one, it's put all your information on there you do all your, yeah, so your PODs your waybridge tickets your fuel receipts everything goes on to there so then they've got it all on one system as well um, it was quite a good app it did work it did quite it did, did respond quite well we all went around and had a little bit of a play on it and it was good they've even got there on the maps as well of the docks all the drivers handbooks on the HR app so everything's in your pocket as and when you need it uh, finally after that we had the um, someone from safety come in who's is in charge of basically so these trucks do have dash cams in that face forward and back into the cab as well you know we're in America it's the land of suing so you know if it's there to protect us it's there to protect us I have a problem with it I've had it returners maritime I don't even notice it's there most of the time so he was um, showing us the apps there's been two apps one of them's the new system that they're going on to but yeah so i had to show us the old system in case we get a truck with the old camera system on for now but the new one it shows it shows you know the, your bad driving but it also shows you good driving as well so it's not just going against you it's helping you um it's showing you what you're doing good it's showing you what you're doing bad to try and help you so yeah again i had a problem but it's good learning here still so we can um just um you know, just you just take it as it goes, and you're all here to learn. We're all here to improve. So, if it's going to help us improve, I'm all for it anyway. Um, and yes, yeah, so it was just good to see a bit of an insight into the systems that was working. Uh, the trucks do have the trucks do have they have automatic engine brake or retarder. They've got um, the anti-collision wire that's on them as well, like you would in the UK trucks. And they do pick up things like overpasses or bridges. When there's shadows on the floor, it thinks there's someone there and will slam the brakes on <laughs> sometimes. So it's just like British trucks. And um, yeah, apart from the, the bigger, they obviously can't weigh as much because they can only go up to £80,000, which I think was about 39 ton. I'll put the proper weight up on the screen now of what it can it can go to. Uh, the trucks, I think, are the 450s, 455 horsepower, so they're not crazy horsepower. Um, there will be options come up potentially depending on work for doing so it's going to be three runs to california a week but there's going to be two live loads on it so it could be we're going down towards the mexican border to load something up there and then that's running straight to california it could be going up to like flagstaff i know they do have stuff out of like texas out in there, houston and they say stuff does come up crop up time to time that's like further north more out east more up west further up and run that down to california it all depends on how the work falls and 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 all stuff like that like anyway but the main ones will be from california well, from here to california back drop one off and then and then go from there so yeah it'd be um it's interesting times coming ahead i just hope that they say yes to me having a camera out and film it and like i said the videos will probably change style but it'll it will still show the truck inside of it it might even work out for the better you never know but yeah that's just a quick update 
I'm going to get up and get my tea because it's just come like past seven o'clock and I'm getting hungry. So yeah, I will get off and I will see you on the next one.